Gunboss Games! <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gin here to talk to you about a very important thing in League of Legends. Smart casting. It's an important thing that people don't do when they start the game, mostly because they don't know about it. And with good reason to some extent, there's a lot to learn in this game. But if you want to become good, smart casting will help you a lot. Smart casting is casting an ability with a single button press, rather than pressing the abilities button and then clicking the target as is default. In the case of smart casting, the target is chosen based on where your cursor is pointing when the button is released. By default, smart casting an ability is bound to holding the shift key while pushing the ability button. Today, I am here to tell you that you should rebind these so that you smart cast normally with the regular keys. You should only smart cast. There are two good reasons for this. It is easier, and it is faster, with less chance of error. Think about this. In your standard game of League of Legends, you push a lot of buttons. To move, to attack, to cast abilities, to use items, to use summoner spells, to recall. There's a lot of clicking and button pressing to do. Now, imagine you cut out 10 to 25% of that. How much easier would that be? How much more of your attention can you then focus on more important things, like when to use what and where you should be? It's a pretty big increase. Furthermore, without that second button press, you will be able to cast spells faster. That means faster response time to use an ability in the middle of a huge fight and less chance of misclicking. While the speed difference may seem tiny, just think about how short a fight is in LoL. Most of them are over in just a few short seconds, maybe 10 to 20 seconds at most. You need all the speed advantages you can get. Now there are a few perceived disadvantages to using smart casting. These are, however, easily corrected. By default, smart casting doesn't display a reticle of any sort. No range indicator to show you distance, nor a target other than your mouse to show you what you can hit. Allow me to introduce you to two options, the reasons that many of you seem to think that I'm not smart casting at all. Under more options, you will find line missile display and smart cast range indicators. Together, these two options will show you the full range of all of your abilities, and indeed, all the information you had with normal casting prior to your mouse click until you release the button. The only true disadvantage to smart casting is now successfully negated. Some people also complain that you can't really cancel an ability while smart casting like you can while casting normally. Not so. While the button is still pressed down, you can right click to force yourself to move, thereby canceling the ability. You can now safely let go of the button. Smart casting may take a little getting used to, but with a little practice, you'll be amazed at just how fast and how natural it is. With the addition of smart casting to your arsenal, you'll be well on your way to becoming a pro. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the like button. Speak up in the comments below if you have advice or questions. We're all here to learn. Subscribe for future content, including champion guides, gameplay guides, and other possibly not lol content. Till next time, I've been Gin, and you've been watching me talk about a video game.